Well, today we're adding an apple-themed doormat to our front porch. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, we start our doormats just like every month with a what I refer to as a blank. My blank is made from a piece of felt cut one and a half inches by two and a half inches. I have more detail about what this felt is, where, where I got it, all that good stuff in the blog post. And as you, if you've watched my videos for very long, you should know that there is a blog post written for pretty much every video I post. Link is always in the description box below the video for the blog post that pertains to that video. And there you'll find lots more information than you can get on the video. And you'll also see photos and hear my thoughts about what's going on. A lot of times there are links to products and things like that. So we start by giving this piece of felt a good coat of matte Mod Podge. Now you could probably use any finish of Mod Podge for this. I just typically use matte. You want to really soak it. You want to what this is doing, this is doing multiple things. It is going to make our felt lay down better. Um, felt is a fairly lightweight product. It tends to blow around. It tends to um, wrinkle up. It uh, just doesn't behave very well. This will prevent that. This will make it nice and firm and stiff. It will keep it laying flat. It will also seal the surface because this Mod Podge now has soaked. If you look at the back, you'll see it's soaked all the way through in the center and that's fine. That will allow us to paint, any paint we put on will stay put. It won't soak through the felt and make the back multicolored. Also, it means we can use less paint and our design can be done once usually and not have to have a second coat. Without the Mod Podge sealing, we end up with our paint soaking in, getting dispersed through the felt, and just looking kind of messy. So I am going to set this aside and let it dry. I will move it every once in a while because if you don't, it will stick to your work surface. I do work on a ceramic tile, so it's easy to remove it even if it sticks. And if it does stick, it will, have, it will look kind of funky on the back, but that's okay. It's the back. I do recommend doing this the night before you're going to make your doormat so that it has plenty of time to dry because this does need to dry completely before we go on to our next step. So let me get my paintbrush washed out and get this dried and I'll be back for step number two. All right, we are going to go on to our design and I'm gonna start by doing the part that I consider the hardest first and then is writing the word at the bottom corner because I'm gonna write a hello down here. Now this time I am using just the felt, the color that it is when we get it sealed. Um, and I have a fine tipped acrylic paint marker here and I am going to hopefully get this to look nice. Um, that's why I'm doing this first. There, that says hello. Hopefully it shows up. It's a little hard to read on there, but it will show, it shows better in person than it does on the camera. So I'm gonna let this paint dry so that I don't accidentally smear it. And then I'll come back and we'll start with our apples. All right, my black paint has had a few minutes to set up. It's not dry all the way, but it's enough that it won't um, smear, I hope. So I've got some apple red from Folk Art. Um, and I'm gonna put some out on my tray off to the side. It's just easier for me to work that way. And I've got a nice flat brush here. And I'm gonna to attempt to make some apples. Now the thing about apples is they're fairly brown, they're fairly forgiving. We're just going to kind of make red. And I'm, my plan is to put five of them on here. Kind of regretting my brush choice. I think probably off camera I will 
go find a different brush and kind of define my shapes better. Let's see how this goes. Using just the corner. For now, all we need is kind, just really kind of a red circle. And you know, you could do a green apple if you would rather do green apples. You you could do that. And a fifth one up here in the corner. That's not bad at all. I'm not hating those. I will probably get a smaller brush and fill in a little bit and just make those a little bit more evenly even on the edges. But you guys get the idea. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to let the, this paint dry. And when this is dry, I'll come back and we'll add some stems and then some leaves. All right, that red paint has had time to dry pretty much. And normally I would use brown paint for my stems, but I don't think any of the brown paints I have will show up on this mat. So I'm going to use the same black paint pen that I used on the first step on the, the word. So I'm going to make a stem on each one of these. And I'm going to try and make sure that they are all going a different way. I've kind of got a diagram over here that I'm kind of looking at. Let's see, I'm going to do you this way. Whoops, come on. And I'm going to do you this way. And then this paint will need to set up, and then we'll come back and we'll put some leaves on. So I'll be back when this dries. All right, my paint is dry. So now I've got this green multi-surface. It's bright green from um, Folk Art. With the exception of the paint pen, all the paints and brushes I'm using today are ones that Plaid sent to me a few months ago. So I'm just going to add just a leaf on each one of these. And I'm trying to keep consistently with the colors that we are using on all of the Apple items for the front porch so that everything is everything will coordinate. But you could use whatever colors you've got. Use the colors that you like. And you can make yours a lot more detailed. If you're not doing a video, you've got more freedom to, you know, play around and take your time. So there it is. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll move it to the front porch of the dollhouse and we'll take a look and see how it looks in place. But so far, I really like this. So I'll be right back. Well, here we have our doormat in front of the door. I think when fall comes around, this is going to be perfect. Uh, be sure and check the blog post for photos, dimensions, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What kinds of things and themes would you like to see in future projects? If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, I encourage you hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. I thank you very much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye.